Avram charges Eliezer with the mission of finding a wife for his son Yitzhak. Eliezer, understanding the gravity of the situation, davens to Hashem and says, Hashem, please let me find the right woman for Yitzhak. Let it be that the woman who appears at the well, I ask her for water for myself, and she not only grants water for me, but she offers to feed my camel as well. Let, let that be the woman for my master for Yitzhak. No sooner does Eliezer finish that tefillah, then a woman shows up at the well. He says to her, please may I have what to drink. And Eliezer stands there mouth agape, astonished by the alacrity, the zrizis that this woman goes about her business with. She runs to the well, brings a jug of water, runs back to the well, brings another one. She feeds not just Eliezer, but all of his camels. And Eliezer knew that this was the woman chosen to be the wife of Yitzhak. He was so confident in that fact that he immediately took the nezim, he took the bracelet, put it on her wrist, and only after he put it on her wrist, he asked, Bat Miat, from which family do you come? And she said, I'm the daughter of Basuel. In fact, I'm from Avram's family. And it's interesting to note, while that's the order of the procession as it occurred, when Eliezer is invited into the house of Basuel, he subtly changes the order. He tells over the events, <clears throat> but he says that first the woman appeared, then I asked her what family she's from, only then did I put the bracelet on her hand, formally engaging her to my master's son. Rashi's bothered by why the change. Rashi explains that Eliezer knew with whom he was dealing with. He knew that Lovan and Besuah were Ramayim, were tricksters, and he knew that they would never believe that he had betochen in Hashem, that he trusted in Hashem. Therefore, he made it more palpable to them. He said, first I asked, I knew who she was, only then did I actually put the bracelet on their hand. And this Rashi is rather difficult to understand. <clears throat> we keep in mind the fact that Eliezer was Malumad bin Nisim. He regularly was accustomed to having miracles occur to him, and he clearly told that to Lovan and Basuel. He told over to them many of the miracles that Hashem did for them. So if in fact he was the person for whom miracles were regularly done, why is it that he was afraid to tell Lovan and Basuel <clears throat> that he had betochen in Hashem, that he trusted in Hashem, that Hashem would deliver the right woman to him? And I believe the answer to this question is that he understood human nature. Lovan was a Ramai, a trickster. Lovan ruled, <coughs> lived by the golden rule, do others in before they do unto you. Lovan was the type of man who never could trust anyone. Eliezer understood that because Lovan was a person who didn't have trust in others, there was no way that he could believe that another human being would be foolish enough to actually trust in Hashem. It could be that God will bring miracles for you, but to actually trust in Hashem is something that couldn't be, and therefore Lovan would accuse him of lying. And I believe that this Rashi is actually an interesting lesson for us. And that lesson is that the way a human being looks at the world is largely based on their midos, <clears throat> the way they look at Hashem is largely based on their own character traits. If I'm the type of person who's giving, <clears throat> if I'm the type of person who's other-centered, then I could view that midah in others, I could view that midah in Hashem. But if I'm the type of person who's self-centered, if that's my reality, I project that reality onto others, I see others acting that way, I even see Hashem acting that way, and there's no way that I can ever learn to trust in Hashem. The only way that a human being can see the goodness of Hashem <clears throat> and learn to trust in Hashem is if they train themselves in chesed, if they train themselves in doing for others. When that becomes my inner nature, then I project that onto others. I see the goodness in the human. Ultimately, I see the goodness in my Creator, and I'm able to train myself to learn to trust in Hashem.